Namaskar, I am Rebecca. I welcome you to the Bread of Life. Let us look to the Holy Bible, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 1 to 9. The main idea of this day is, bring down the proud heart. The vision of Obadiah, thus say the Lord God concerning Edom, We have heard a report from the Lord, and a messenger has been sent among the nations. Rise up, let us rise against her for battle. Behold, I will make you small among the nations. You shall be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You who live in the cliffs of the rock, in your lofty dwelling, who say in your heart, Who will bring me down to the ground? Though you soar aloft like the eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. If thieves come to you, if plunderers came by night, how you have been destroyed? Would they not steal only enough for themselves? If grape gatherers came to you, would they not leave gleanings? How Esau has been pillaged, his treasures shot out, all your allies have driven you to your borders. Those at peace with you have deceived you. They have prevailed against you. Those who ate your bread have set a trap beneath you. You have no understanding. Let's understand the word of God. The prophet Ovadia delivers God's words to Edom, which was Israel's brother nation. Edom were the descendants of Esau, Isaac's first son. The people of Edom had no interest in God and did not follow God's word. They lived high in the cliffs of the rock and they were being conceited, thinking nobody would be able to attack them. They boasted that they soar aloft like the eagle and were high up like the stars. However, Edom was not be able to escape the punishment of not following God. Nations who trusted in their wealth, power, skill and wisdom more than God will all be destroyed eventually. Edom would eventually fall as well. May the Lord bless us with these words. Let's pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for giving us your nice words. God, please help us to be humble and leave trusting in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.